All right, so I just made it to a very creepy floor. Look, some red tape here. Look, every single door. Did you guys hear that? Is there anyone in this room right now besides me? It is spooky season and today we're doing some ghost haunting. What is up guys, this is your boy Georgie with Vegas Must Try and we're at one of the most haunted hotels in Las Vegas and that is the Apache Hotel right behind me that is located inside the Binions in downtown Las Vegas. Look, whether you believe in ghosts or not, please smash the like button to help with the algorithm and right now, let's go catch some ghosts. Alright guys, made it here to my room and I am in a standard queen room at the Apache Hotel. Now, this place has 81 rooms and opened in 1932, making it about 91 years old. The hotel was opened by a family that was a contractor for the Hoover Dam and it was initially started as a place for people that were working on the Hoover Dam to come by and relax, blow some steam. The Apache Hotel was the first in many things. First of all, it was the first place to be fully air conditioned, it was the first place to have carpet and also to have electric elevators. Not to mention, they also claim to be the place that popularized poker. Not the birthplace of poker, but the place that popularized poker. The price for this room was $80. Now keep in mind, there isn't any resort fees here. The Apache Hotel is a boutique hotel that is inside of Binion's and is currently marketed as a haunted experience. All right, so this is what we're working with, a very standard and vintage room. The colors here definitely give out some old school vibes and I dig it. They have this old school phone. Look at this. I was wondering if it was a prop, but check this out. I know how to use these because my grandma had one. Television, that's definitely not vintage, so that's good to see. An AC unit that also works as a heater. This thing was blowing super cold air a second ago. We have a safe here and also a radio. So this radio, I was trying to get it to work and I can't figure it out. Maybe it's broken. I'm just going to turn this off to make sure it doesn't scare me later at night. Right here we have a closet. Right over here we have a restroom. This is a nice little lovely restroom. It's like something you would have at your house. So is this where we're gonna say Bloody Mary three times and then turn off the lights and stuff? All right guys, to be completely transparent, I am a bit of a skeptic when it comes to ghosts and anything that's not part of everyday life. With that being said, I leave room for possibility and here at the Apache Hotel, they actually have a ghost haunting kit that you can rent out this kit costs 25 dollars and you can rent it out at the desk i've never done anything like this i tried playing the ouija board once just fooling around nothing happened so let's see what's up with this and it looks like uh we have some instructions here part of me doesn't want to catch anything but part of me would think that hey might be a good video who knows here are some rules do not trespass do not hunt alone okay i'm already breaking that one do not smoke, wear perfume, or scented deodorant. I have scented deodorant, I have to have it. Do not provoke a spirit. Okay, this might be a little fun one. Unless you have done your homework, you do not know who the spirit is or the personality of the spirit you are trying to communicate with. You could make the spirit very angry and they may decide to attach themselves to you and make your life miserable. Oof. These attachments may last for a short time or continue to disrupt your life for a very long time and are difficult to get rid of. All right guys, so this little device right here is actually called a Roke, I just found out. And it's supposed to track and measure energy around you. Um, so let's try this out. Apple Watch, yep. All right, so it does measure energy, right? This artifact right here is called the S-Box. So what it's doing right now, it's scanning through a lot of radio stations and you can maybe pick up on some paranormal activity or some voices that may be trying to speak to you. Okay, now let's do some ghost haunting. All right, so right now it's on. Let's start scanning. Hold on. Did you guys hear that? I think it said, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Okay, I'm just kidding. I didn't hear anything, but that doesn't mean nothing is happening. Let's try something a little bit more uh, risky slash old school. Okay. 
This is picking up something. Creeping me out a little bit. So let's ask it a question. Is there a spirit here? Is there a presence or some kind of energy at the Apache Hotel? Is there anyone or any spirit in this room right now? Are you in pain? Are you sad? Or are you perhaps angry? Do you have the power to turn the lights on or off? Is there anyone in this room right now besides me? All right, so I haven't been able to pick up anything on either of those two devices, but I don't know if I consider myself lucky or unlucky because if I catch something that makes for good content, but also I'm gonna be shitting bricks. Now, if I don't catch anything, then that's just the nature of it and maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. With that being said, let's head downstairs and walk around here at the Apache Hotel slash Binions. So this is how the hallways look, a very old school. The hallways here are very squeaky. I'm hearing every step and then I hear people's conversations from pretty much anywhere. Here on some doors you have some messages of stuff that has been reported here. While watching YouTube videos of Hotel Apache's paranormal activity, my computer bag that was securely placed on the table hit the floor with a bang. Okay, that's creepy because I was just doing that. <laughs> my shaving kit was in the middle of the bathroom floor when I walked in. Look, I don't know if it's just me, but it's very cold in these hallways. Here, I found another one here. While doing a room check, a billion security officer heard someone telling him to get away. When I woke up in the morning, my prescription glasses were on the floor in the middle of the room. Okay, so poltergeist, moving things. All right, I don't want to sound like a pussy, but as I was walking by this hallway right now, I heard someone say something behind my ear, and I thought it was someone coming out of a room. And then I looked back and there was no one. Now, this could be someone from a room actually talking, or, you know, I'm about to myself i don't know check out these steps right here this is super vintage i feel like i'm in somebody's house all right so this is benny smoking barbecue and brews it's a restaurant here it smells fantastic like barbecue and it's like it looks like this old school uh bar so i'm not entirely sure what happened here my mic died for some reason but it was still on and i had batteries so i don't know but i was wandering around the binions and i went to the back side uh, there was this big empty room with an arrow that said Longhorn room up this way. There was some escalators that weren't necessarily working. So made my way upstairs and it was just a really creepy place. Maybe it was back of the house, but it was just a whole bunch of empty rooms. It was a bit creepy, but I had to turn back because now it was time to go to the steakhouse. All right, here we have the elevators and we need to go up, up, up. Jeez, look at all those floors. Okay, so I heard it was the 24th, 23rd maybe. All right, so I just made it to a very creepy floor. This is the 23rd floor and check this out. This place looks abandoned. Look, there was some red tape here. Look, some red tape here. Oof, this place is creepy. Mind you, this is not the Apache Hotel. What is this place? This whole floor is closed off. Wow, I can't, but what the hell? Where even am I? Look, every single door sealed off for security reasons. What is even this place? Oh wow, this little corner is creepy. Tamper evident tape. All right, I gotta get out of here. All right, so I made it. It was the 24th floor, but it wasn't labeled 24. All right, it's crazy how one floor can change everything. Wow, the view here looks great. Alrighty, just got settled and they asked me if I wanted to sit at the bar and I asked them if I could get at one of the booths because I want to get the whole view of the city. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, raspberry sorbet. Raspberry sorbet. So they just gave me this uh, strawberry sorbet to cleanse the palate. I ordered the ribeye steak. 
but this is so good. Talk about cleansing the palate. So we got this steak here. This is about 16 ounces. It comes with asparagus and you have your choice of a carb. So you can do like a potato, risotto, mac and cheese. There's a couple of options. I went with mac and cheese. And now let's cut this bad boy up. Look at that. Big, deep, rich red. Oh my god. Oh hell yeah. Extremely juicy, very, very buttery. Nice charred finish on the outside. This almost tastes like a Wagyu and like buttery fat. Let's keep it going. Check that out. Mm. Now it's time to try out the mac and cheese. Looks like it's gonna be the grainy type. That's, that's what I like. Mm. Let's go. This is my favorite type of mac and cheese. When it's grainy, when you can feel the fibers of the little cheese that got broken into it. Oh, absolutely freaking lootly. That steak is about to put me to sleep. It was $60, it, was, it is a lot of food though. 16 ounces of steak, good amount of food, plus the mac and cheese, which was phenomenal by the way. Definitely need to come back here to get a window seat and you know, so I can share this experience with someone else because I definitely want dessert right now, but I don't want to finish dessert. So, all right, now let's head over downstairs. Look at that. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the side of the stairs, especially with the sports. Get the whole circuit. Yeah. It's called Stadium Swim. This is sick. You can take a picture with a million dollars. I mean, had a whole lot of security here, so maybe we can just uh, scoop up some of these boxes. <laughs> All right, just got back from the steakhouse and I turned this bad boy on to see if we spot any, you know, paranormal activity. It's extremely cold in here. The AC right now is up to 75. It actually feels like it's like 70 or below that. However, something that feels very hot is the cash that I have in my wallet that is urging, it's burning to go get spent at a craps table. So let's go downstairs, let's walk around and let's see what trouble we get into. A very obvious thing is that you're obviously right in the middle of everything when you stay here at the Apache Hotel. There's so many things to do here at Fremont. I have videos about that. You guys can check it out. You guys already know. Uh, so yeah, it's crazy to think that when there's people flying down in zip lines and there's all this craziness going on down here, uh, that there's potentially ghosts and crazy activity that's happening in the rooms here in downtown, but it is what it is. I think the spirits are out because your boy uh, it's not doing too hot right here in the casino. Freaking crap tables, crap me out. Blackjack tables brought me back to life. All right guys, made it back to the room and I have to say, the only thing scary so far here at the Apache Hotel is not uh, some paranormal activity, is how fast I can lose $200 at a craps table. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave a camera recording uh, while I sleep for a little bit, maybe set an alarm at 3 a.m. because that's when all the crazy stuff happens allegedly. But just a quick note is that I can hear a lot of the, uh, okay, like that thing is going off a little bit. But anyway, I think I'm gonna leave a camera because at 3 a.m. that's when crazy stuff happens and let's see if we catch anything. I kinda don't want it to happen. I feel, uh, you know, I already feel icky. A quick message is that it is kind of loud here. Like when people walk outside, when people talk in other rooms, I can kind of hear things. Uh, so yeah, let's hit the hay and then let's wake up uh, maybe at 3 a.m. Hopefully I wake up. I'm a pretty heavy sleeper. So uh, let's keep the camera rolling for a little bit. Watching a little bit of UFC before going to sleep. Ugh. I forgot to set an alarm at 4 a.m., 3 a.m but I just randomly woke up, and you can tell. But, I mean, it's just a normal night, I would say. Um, I woke up sweating. Could be the meat sweats. All right, guys, it is now 4.41, and I can't go back to sleep. Um, weird feeling, or whatever you wanna call it, but uh, I think I'm just gonna start packing up and get my day started um yeah so far so good nothing that i can think of it's just a, a weird feeling out here all right let's get out of here 4 45 a.m and it's freezing cold outside Ooh. 
All right, let's head over downstairs. All right, the place is a ghost town. No people here, but that's no surprise because who's gonna be gambling at 5 a.m.? All right, so unfortunately, we weren't able to catch anything, and I'm kind of glad, to be honest. Uh, but uh, if I'm being... All right, so unfortunately, or fortunately, we weren't able to catch anything on camera or record it whatsoever. There's a lot of crazies here in downtown. And, um, you know, I would much rather prefer be in a room safe than out here with uh, weirdos yelling and, you know, cursing at you. So there you guys have it. You can be the judge. I felt like, you know, things were a little weird. It is 5.30 in the morning right now. So it's a bit odd times to be, uh, to be awake. I just didn't want to be there anymore. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go home and sleep on my own bed. Uh, a little eerie, not gonna lie. But also, I don't have any hard evidence on anything. Uh, so yeah, you be the judge. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Also, if you have any scary stories, share it in the comments. Why not? Let's have some fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a like, comment down below, and also, I'll see you on the next time. Peace out.